Welcome back to the At Home with Roby show. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston from the Roby family of companies. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's andrewroby.com. Or you can always find us on the wbt.com homepage. Trent, before the break, we talked about family businesses and that concept of Andrew Roby, 65 years of business. We're now joined by a good friend of the Roby family of companies, Joe Beckenauer. Joe, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate you being on the show. I appreciate you asking me. So, Trent, you know Joe through a forum you're in, and even though we're 65 years old, he's got a couple of years on you in the family business. Yeah. Uh, hey, Joe, what's up, buddy? Joe's calling okay. in calling in from his home in the Bra- – are you at your office or your house? I'm actually at my office. So look at that. He's an hour hour behind at his house. That's Hey, uh, so Joe and I are in a generational family business forum together. Uh, we've known each other for a little over a year the the object and the goal of the forum is uh to share war stories and try to figure out how to navigate successful future generations and future days in in family business and uh joe and i have really hit it off um i love midwestern folk I always talk about how reagan's family on her mom's side is from the midwest we go up there i think we did a show yep, when i was did. up in illinois uh, and so Joe and I hit it off. He just so happens to be a contractor as well, um, different arena. Uh, and I think he's got a little tenure on me, but, but Joe is fifth generation. And I like Joe, tell it, give, give us a, give us a little synopsis of what you have going on up in Nebraska, what y'all do. And, and, and people will know then why we bond so well. Okay. Well, we're we're a general contractor. I've uh, been around since uh, 1878. I'm like you said, I'm fifth generation. Um, we've always done commercial construction. Um, most of our work is in the public sector. A lot of county government work. Um, a lot of jails, courthouses, hospitals, um, and then we do some like college, university type work too. Uh, that is that's probably the biggest sector of our work. Um, our main focus is as, actually as a construction manager. So we don't self-perform a whole lot. We try to focus on being the professional and you know help the plans get done correctly during design, and then we go out and manage and hire the people to do the work. So, so, so Joe, I've talked a lot about the show, how my dad used to always tell me I had never lived through the 70s. I know the 70s, we talk about this in our forum, was a big inflection point for your business, from your grandfather to your dad, can, mm-hmm. can you talk a little bit about about how your dad navigated that inflection point in your business? Kind of similar to how that was the transition year seventies and early eighties during high interest mm-hmm. my my granddad to my dad. Yeah, not a problem. Um, in the seventies, my dad was just finishing up college, uh, went to the University of Nebraska at Lincoln, uh, graduated with a construction manager's degree, um, came into the business actually was doing more masonry that, that's kind of the background of our family is most of them grew up as masons um during that time you know the commercial sector really fell off you know and my dad was in that transition of really taking over the company um as my grandpa finally left the company uh, my dad just made a decision that there was opening so we got into doing bridges and probably did that for 10 maybe 15 years um, i struggled through that until the economy really started moving in the direction that we could get back into commercial construction. Um, so probably did our last bridge in 94 and been running hard as a, a construction manager ever since. Well, my dad, I've never said this on the radio, my dad always had a dream to build a bridge. Because when, <laughs> when my dad came up in high school, he worked, he lived over on McDonald Avenue, and he worked for Roby. He worked for mm-hmm. McDivitt Street, which is a big commercial company, longevity in the Charlotte region, and, and he chased baseballs. The ball stadium, the, the minor league baseball stadium was there, so he chased baseballs and, and sold concession. Always said he had four jobs while in high school, but he dreamed of building a bridge. He never got to build his daggone bridge, but but I'm living living through the Beckenhauer family. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would say they like to build one once, and then after that, that would be enough. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like owning a boat. <laughs> well, uh, 
Well, well, Joe, you said you construction manage on the commercial side. I mean, just a little education for our audience. They call that what they call that CM construction management at, at risk. So basically, you are the lead of the orchestra to get these big commercial jobs done. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, you know, normally you bring a general contractor in, compete against several people. You know, you submit your price for the entire project. Lowest bid wins. We get hired on before plans really have even started. And I'll give a, an early budget so the owner knows what they should be expecting and then work as a team with the owner and the um, the architect to help get the plans completed and, and stay within budget. So once the plans are done, we take it out to, to bid for all the subcontractors to competitively bid on it. Uh, and then we set a, a GMP and, and then get contracts written and we, we go to it. Joe, I can tell this is Ashley, by the way. I can tell why you and Trent get along, because that's a very similar process to what they do at Andrew Roby. By the way, if you're just joining, you're listening to the At Home with Roby show, you can check us out at andrewroby.com or call us today at 704-334-5477. We're joined now, actually, by Joe Backenauer. Joe's in Nebraska. He's a good friend of Trent's, and, and he's got a generational company. It's, it's been in his, co- in his family since, uh, what, 1878, 137 years. And, Joe, when you got out of, when you, when you decided to get into this business, was it something you you did your whole life. I know Trent told the story about how he decided to do it at, at, at a certain point in his life. Was it something you always knew you'd do, is be a part of that family business? I have to say, I kind of went back and forth. Um, growing up, there's pictures of me, probably four or five years old, standing on a crane while they're building bridges, and I, I loved it, and then got in the junior high and wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, and by the time I, I got out of high school, was, I, did, I couldn't think of anything else I wanted to do, so... It just makes sense to go through with it. Joe, it's in your blood, man, and, and, and it's pretty <laughs> funny. You said you have the masonry history in your family. I mean, Joe's, <coughs> I'm telling you, man, he, he's he's full of stock. I mean, he, he'll throw a right and knock you out, but he's 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 so tender and soft. Um, he, But he's got mason hands, you know. I mean, you know a man when he has mason hands, you know he's worked with his hands. My dad used to always talk about that a lot. But one thing Joe and I do together in this forum is we, we cry a lot. Because we we all have the same pain. I mean, we nickname. I can't say the the forum nickname. We just came off of. Uh, we were out at Park City uh, a week ago and came off of a, of a forum retreat. Um, but but our name, what we named our forum, which is a secret, it, it ha- has to relate to how how we all, when we navigate our stories and our our happenings and our current events, we all have the same pains and we're all fighting the same fight. And quite frankly, we all come from the same spot of trying to do good for our clients, do good for our associates, and do good for our family and keep keep the business going. So um, I appreciate that in you, Joe. I, I like sharing tears with you, buddy. <laughs> so, Some things are supposed to stay a secret. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try to get uh, Trent to tell us what that is after the show. But Joe, what <laughs> what are some of the things you've learned as you you grew up? You know, five years old, standing on a crane building a bridge. What are some of the core values and fundamentals when it comes to family businesses that, that are essential to be successful? Yeah, I, I think it doesn't matter if it's construction or anything else. You know, when it's it's a family-based, you know, there's a lot more pride in it. You know, there's a lot more drive in the work ethic to make sure that it, it survives. I mean, somebody who, you know, takes over a business that's not part of the family, you know, they see it as a, a way of living and a paycheck and that kind of stuff. And you might see those companies get sold off when it's really seated deep in the family. You know, it, it's it's a whole nother level. And, you know, you want to take care of it. You want to build it up and, and grow it to something and, and be able to pass it on to the next generation. And I think you see a lot more value come out of it for the clients because they recognize it. Now, Joe, you want to talk about pride every time – your wife was on this trip for a couple of days. Every time I saw y'all, I think down to your underwear you had on, uh, everybody says I wear Roby gear. You wear Nebraska gear. I mean, corn husker country, right? Now, what's, that's what y'all talk about. You trying to bring back the glory days? Uh, it's, it's hope. <laughs> it started off pretty rough this year, but uh, it's slowly getting better. We're having a, uh, a good year I told year. Trent not to bring that up, Joe, by the way. My, Mike Griffin, a, a good Tar Heel alum of mine, uh, is on the show in the next segment. So so we'll talk a little bit about college football, but we were comparing college football while we were on this trip together. <laughs> That's funny. 
All right, Joe. You, you, you got basketball. Just keep to that. Absolutely. It's basketball country <laughs> in the Carolinas. Joe, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you, Joe. Yep. Hey, yep. man. Thanks for having me. Talk to you later, bud. Have a great day. All right, that was a great conversation. As Trent said, when we come back, we'll be joined by Mike Griffin to talk more about the family types of business, the business that Andrew Roby is all about. Stay with us. You're listening to the At Home with Roby show. We'll be right back.